see guys that was the first uh, question we done with that the second question uh, so let's call this one video clip 3 for the second question okay the net area of the external cluster okay now what we need for this we're being told that we need the area to be plastered externally okay and as i've told you in my introduction that when we do plaster work in construction we plaster from all of the exposed surfaces when we get to ground level we need to include two courses below which is 85 and 85 of our plaster we can't leave the joint we can't plaster up until this joint here we're bound to have trouble of moisture at some point if we leave that like this okay guys right so what do you use what do we use for us to get the external surface area so we need to know what the perimeter which is the perimeter refers to the distance around an object so from here to here to here to here to here, the distance around, okay guys, we need to find that out. So what we do, we take our external dimension, 3.78 times it by 8 sides, since an octagon is an 8 sided figure, okay. That gives us 30.24 meters, okay. We take that. And we need a second dimension to multiply to get our surface area. Okay, so let's first ascertain what is the size, the depth of our two courses. So we therefore say 85, which is represents one course times two, is equal to 170. Okay, then we must take the three meters from wall plate level to finish floor level plus the 450 from finish floor level to ground level plus 170 which is the two courses below that gives us 3620 meters so you know our plaster we measure it in square meters as per standard system therefore we need only two dimensions therefore we say 30.24 times 3620 when you multiply that out in meters you get 109.47 square meters Okay, guys now here is where it gets interesting they say they want the net area remember net means after deductions therefore we need to take out the area where the doors occupy space so already from my drawing i had already calculated for the four doors that's 6.6 .6 and four the double door 5.33 and for the four windows 5.16 square meters so now i need to go ahead and deduct this total area this cross area i need to deduct 6.6 .6 for, for the four doors 5.33 for a double door 5.16 for the four windows that gives me a total of 92.38 square meters for plaster okay there is a huge importance in this that you guys should know that everything on site is, is a, has a cost implication. Once you do not deduct uh, for the for the openings and doors, you are going to over measure and you're going to over order and overprice the job, and you won't get the job because you are over. You have you doing an unrealistic measurement because now think of it: if you now have material for in a, a place where a door is there and you're not going to plaster that what are you going to do with that material just keep that at the back of your head guys when they say make adjustment for our for openings you need to do that okay so that is uh, question b done so let's say we've done uh vinyl floor covering we've done area of Plaster. Now let's go to the number of bricks. Remember, we're told uh, from finished floor level to uh, 
At top of our footing, we have 900 millimeters of foundation brickwork. And we need to know the number.